Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have you ever noticed on the bottom of glass jars, bottles, beer bottles, soda bottles, there's always that little corona, that little ring of dots, raised bumps there? What's going on here? Stick around and I'll tell you why they're there for. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. No, this is not an episode on the Home Shopping Grocery Network. I'm just gonna show you something that you may have noticed before and thought, what's that about? Have you ever noticed on the bottom on all glass jars or bottles, there's always this little corona or this little ring and it may be circular or depending on the shape of the container, it may be oval, but there's always this little row of dots around here. Now, contrast that with something that's cast in plastic and that's as smooth as a big, well, you got it. It's smooth, okay? So <laughs> there is no row of dots here. Now, what gives here? Well, it all has to do with the manufacturing process. I recently saw a clip on something that just explained the whole thing, and it was so interesting, I thought I'd pass it on to you because you may not know like I didn't. Well, here's the, the situation. Glass bottles are blown uh, both by out of a slug with air injected into them to create a cavity. And then there's an outer um, mold that goes. And this is happening 100 times a minute where these glass jars are being made on the fly in highly automated situations. But the glass is still very hot. And when it goes into the mold and then is blown into shape and the mold opens, this jar, which is now solidifying because glass turns solid pretty quick, but it's still very hot. If it lands full surface on a moving conveyor belt, which is made out of metal slats in most cases, then there would be thermal shock. The coolness of the conveyor belt would either compromise the glass or cause it to shatter. And of course they can't have that happen. So to assure that doesn't happen, that little row of raised dots is cast in to the glass container. And as you can see, every one of them have it. Doesn't matter what the shape is. If it's glass, it's got one. Sometimes on smaller diameter containers, the bottom will be indented with a convex shape to assure that only the ridge with those little bumps touches the metal conveyor belt. So you may have thought it was just decoration as I did, but what it's doing is actually creating a minute airspace between the hot container and that cooler conveyor belt deck and allows the air to move around it, even that minute space, so the thermal shock doesn't occur. And this can cool down and stabilize as it moves down, uh, moves down the conveyor belt and later be filled with the contents. Who knew? Check out these other videos that YouTube thinks you'll be interested in, and we think you'll like them too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.